that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is his weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases, increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Heavenly Father, we come now to expound on your word. God, we ask you to remove me from self. You speak through these lips of clay the words you desire your people to hear. Anoint us all afresh from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Oh God, we ask now that you open up our hearts and our mind and our spirits that we receive your words. Decrease me and you increase and see less of me and more of you. And as we stand on the wall of this gospel, we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to talk on this subject. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Now, to be honest, waiting requires patience. Uh, I don't know of too many people that are sitting here today that have not had a doctor's appointment or had an appointment of some kind. No matter where you go to, the doctor's office, the dentist's office, the lawyer's office, counselor's office, principal's office, or just a council meeting with the teacher. It requires you to be patient. As most of us have experienced, we have an appointment time with our doctor. Most of us, if the appointment time is at 10 o'clock, they say be here by, by at least 30 minutes prior to your appointment time. Yes. That means that we got to be there by 9, 9.30. We get there, we check in, and what we do? They tell us that we'll have a seat. The doctor will be with you in a few minutes. 10 o'clock comes, you still have not been called. You don't raise no kind of saying about sitting there, folks. You got no more. And until the doctor or the receptionist call you or the, the, the nurse or whoever comes out to get you, you sit there, you might follow through some magazines, you might hold a conversation with somebody else in there. But most of the time, my point is, we learn to wait on. We learn to wait on the doctor. We learn to wait on uh, the dentist. <coughs> because we don't know what kind of trouble that they are experiencing in the back. It might be with some patients that have fainted and your time has come for them to see you, but yet they're still <coughs> in with somebody else. So what do we do? We wait on them. But there are some of us who just don't have the patience with God like that. We pray and we want it right now. Well, I got good news and bad news. God is a right now God. Only when he wants to be. You can't hurry God. You just got to learn to wait. You got to wait on the Lord. And, 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 and because... He's not part of hearing your request. Mm -hmm. Number one, the Lord, he faint not. In other words, he don't sleep. He hears you when you cry. Yes. He watches over you in your tense moments. He watches over you in the time of your despair. Yes. No matter how much you pray, you want him to come right now. Yes. Oh, come on now. How many of us have ever experienced a toothache? Yes. That's, that's painful. Yes, it is. It is very painful. And, and the longer we don't do something about it, the more what? It aches. Yes. But we want relief when? Right now. right now. But you got to give whatever medication you take, you got to wait on the time yes. for it to do what it's supposed to do. But, but, but some of us just don't have. 
seems like, Lord, I, you know, I'm trying to do right, I'm trying to do this, but then uh, my refrigerator breaks down. I got that fixed, I'm about getting stuff back together, then my car breaks down. And Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm about to get all of this together. Here come my, my property tax. I got to do this. And it seems like that whenever you're getting right, yes. something always breaks loose. Yes. But all you got to do is recognize that God gives you the power to overcome yes. these things. Amen. Yet, most of us don't settle for the patience that is required of us to allow God to do what God is supposed to do. Many of us will take the matter into our own hands. Ah, I'm going to tell you something. When you've got God, if you already ask him to do things and then you turn around and take it from him, he might just back off and let you see what you can do with it. Yes. How many times have we asked, we prayed, got on our knees, and or either just whisper the silent prayer, no matter where we was, and ask God to do something for us. And then when we didn't get it, when we thought we were supposed to get it, we decided to do something about it ourselves. Come on. Have I got any witnesses? Come on, y'all ain't never done that? that? That's just human nature, isn't it? That, that's just saying that, well, it's not saying I don't trust the Lord. It's just saying, God, you ain't, you ain't coming fast enough. I got, I got to get this thing done right now. The car breaks down. I'm on my way to work. And I ain't got time to wait for no mechanic. Woo! You got to wait on the Lord. Thirdly, the Lord renews your strength. Never figure out. Never, never figure God out of anything. When you ask for it, he'll renew it. But you gotta believe, you gotta have faith. Many of us allow our faith to just what? Go to the waste. Because we don't have faith. If you got faith in God, you learn how to wait. I heard David say it in that psalm that I read, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he will what? Strengthen your heart. He'll give you something. When you feel down, the devil don't want you to be happy. The devil don't want you to have strength. He wants you to weep so he can deal with you. Satan is always trying to find a way to come at you in all kinds of ways that you never expect. Why is it that when I eat something that, that, that I think is good, I save my grace and everything, and I eat it, and yet it hurts my stomach? The devil's going to come at you all kinds of ways. Satan hates the fact that you've given your life to Christ so he don't care about how weak you get. He wants you weak. He wants your mind to be in down. He wants you to be discouraged all the time. But the psalmist, uh, this prophet says, they that wait on the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew your strength. Now, 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 let me tell you something. Don't get lazy while you're waiting. It don't mean that you just go sit down. When you wait on the Lord, it means you got to still be in motion. God is coming. He's coming and he's going to, what, bless you real good. He's going to do some things that you never thought possible as long as you put yourself in motion. But when you wait and you sit down, what happens to you? I don't mind is the devil's what? Come on, people. I don't mind is the devil's workshop. So he's going to start looking at ways to get to you when he figures that you are, you done given up on God, not in my opportunity. Oh, I know that some people in here don't, don't know how to just wait on the Lord and just be patient then while you're doing it. But I heard Peter say that you ought to wait and learn how to do these things. God will never leave those who are patiently waiting. When you wait on the Lord, don't just be idle, but be of good courage. For the good news is, 
that for over, I don't know how many generations, a year, but the Bible said for 42 generations, Israel was waiting on a Savior. Salvation came in a way that they were not expecting it to. Salvation came in the way of a little girl, if you will, 14 years old. Her name was Mary. No one expected Mary to bring salvation unto the world. But they had waited so long. They had prayed to God, even the Maccabees took matters in their own hand. When they tried to destroy uh, the, 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 the Roman Empire. But though that was not in God's plan, God's plan was that I will send you a Savior. Amen. And I'll send my only begotten Son. Yes. But it won't come like you expect it to come. Uh -huh. But you got to be patient and wait. Yes. Isaiah here said that it was uh, 17 uh, what, uh, 714 years before he came. Yes. Isaiah said that when he come, he'll be bruised for our iniquity. Yes. yes, he will have put many stripes on himself Lord. because uh, the government of our will be uh, on his shoulder. Yes. yes, he'll like sheep, he'll be led to the slaughter. Yes, and all you got to do is understand that when he's on his way, everyone in his own way will receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. You got to receive him for yourself. Right. But while you're waiting, he said, be a good cup. Yes. And he will strengthen your heart. Yes, he in other words, your patient need waiting on the Lord. Know that while we are here waiting, He's already been bought before like a lamb to the slaughter, a dumb shearer's side. Yes, he opened up his mouth. They tell me they beat him all night long. He was taken from judgment hall to judgment hall, but yet he didn't declare anything. They tell me that on that Thursday night, Amen. he didn't even get in his sleep. Yes. But on that Thursday night, yes. he was mocked, he was bruised yes. for our iniquity. Yes. They tell me on that Thursday night that when Pilate couldn't find no fault, uh -huh. he sent him back to Cleophas, the yes. high priest. Yes. They tell me that old Cleophas said, no, it's not our duty, yes. but it's the Roman government's duty. Yes. To crucify folk. Yes. So they sent him back to Pilate. Amen. And old man Pilate saw Jesus walk in. Yes. Said, Tell me, are you the king of the Jews? Yes. Jesus said, You say so. Yes. And he said, What have you done? Uh -huh. I imagine Jesus could have said, I didn't do anything, but I came down to save those that are lost. Yes. I imagine he could have said, I have all power in my hand yes. right now. But I'm patiently waiting uh -huh. on the Father's instruction. I'm yes. patiently waiting to go through what my assignment is. Yes. yes. Early on that Friday morning, mm -hmm. old pilot walked out and said, bring me some water so I can wash my hands because I don't find no fault right. in this man. Yes. But Jesus just patiently waited yes. for what was set before him. Uh, uh -huh. He did not give up on saving you and I. Yes. They tell me on that Friday morning, uh -huh. after they had whipped him 32 times, yes. he has 39 stripes on his back. Yes. When I got his cross, uh -huh. headed up that old dusty road. Yes. Going out to Mount Calvary. Yes. Tell me he began to get a little weak. The they God. grabbed a man by the name of Simon the Creek yes. to carry the cross on up to God got us healed. Yes. They tell me that Jesus was still quiet. Yes. They shoved and they pushed. Uh -huh. 
his feet. Yes. He was still patiently yes. waiting for him Glory and God. all of them to come around yes. for that old trip to, right. to be fulfilled. Glory and Jesus God. said, when I, mm -hmm. if I yes. be lifted up yes. from the earth, Glory I draw yes, all men yes. unto me. Glory I'm God. patiently waiting for my God yes. to come through. Right. They hung him high mm -hmm. and stretched him wide. Yes, the old soldier pierced him in his side. Mm -hmm. Blood and water yes. came streaming down. Uh -huh. Jesus hung his head in the lock of his shoulder yes. and he died. Yes. But before he died, Amen. yes, he was still patient Glory for the thief that was hanging beside him yes. made one request. Yes. So when you get into yes, your kingdom, remember me. Yes, Jesus said, today yes. thou shalt be with me mm -hmm. in paradise. Amen. He waited. Yes, yes he waited. Yes. Father, yes. why have thou forsaken me? Yes. My power has left me. Uh -huh. He died. Yes, he died. Yes. Around the ninth hour yes. of the day. He died. Yes, he died. Oh, yes. Was laid in a barber too. Uh -huh. But early yes. on Sunday morning, oh, yes. he got up yes, with yes. all power oh, yes. in his hands. Oh, yes. It takes something yes. to lay somewhere yes. three days and three nights. Yes. You got to be patient yes. and wait on the Lord. Yes, he might not give you what you're asking for mm -hmm. right away. But I'm saying, wait, yes. wait, yes. wait yes. on the Lord yes. and be a good courage. Amen. And he will. Yes, he will. He will. Yes, 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 he will. Deliver all time. Yes, he will. Some of us have been in some situations mm -hmm. so bad that we thought about taking our own life. Come on now, don't, don't fool me. Yeah. I know you've done it too. You've been in that sad state. But then something, the spirit said, wait. Just wait. And believe it or not, all of our times are coming. Oh, they may not have been here now. But the, the undertaker will roll them in. Sooner or later. If you just wait on the Lord, he will give you the strength and the desires of your heart. Want to do it? Yes. Yes. Everybody tried it? Yes. Huh? Yes. Now that, that, that's a question I don't understand how you can wait on that doctor and sometimes it's late. Of course, I, I know that somebody sitting in this room will get up and walk out. <laughs> but if you got a, a pain or something that you need to see the doctor about, you're going to stay right there and wait Amen. till you see it. Come on, somebody. Amen. And won't say a word about you being late. But when God, you ask God, say, hurry up, Lord. <laughs> Have mercy. Wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That's the message for the morning. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if you would come right now, Walter, we're going to lift up prayer for those who have lost.